Hey there, everyone, and happy Wednesday to you, July 8th. This is KXAN Live News Notes. I'm Amanda Dugan. And I'm Will Dupree, joining you from my home right now because I'm awaiting the results of a COVID-19 test. So we're going to try to get to all the stories we want you to know about today, and we'll do it all in about five minutes. All right, and let's get right to it. So as we near 10,000 active cases of COVID-19 in Central Texas, Will, hospital space, it's a continuing concern. Health leaders say we're nearing stage five of Austin's risk chart. Stage five means no gatherings outside of your home are allowed and only essential businesses can operate. Right now, we are averaging 75 new hospital admissions every day, which is in the gray area between stage four and stage five, depending on which way that seven-day average trends will determine whether Austin Public Health increases our risk stage. There are 432 people in the hospital with COVID-19 in the Austin metro area. Now, across the state, we reached a new high yesterday with 9,200 COVID-19 patients in the hospital. Less than 25% of hospital space is available statewide. And let's go ahead and take a look now. Health departments reported more than 10,000 new Texas cases yesterday. This was another daily record. We will likely pass 100,000 active cases in Texas by the end of the day. Now, if you are someone who is going to be looking to get tested, there is going to be a new testing site in an Austin neighborhood. That's right. APH plans to open one at Givens Park next Monday. There are already others open, a couple Austin libraries, the Southeast and Little Walnut Creek branches. There are also testing sites in the Dove Springs and Runberg area. The, these are additional free testing sites on top of existing drive through locations. Now, they are meant to serve those specific neighborhoods that don't have as much access to testing. You know, COVID-19, as we know, has um, had quite an impact on all of us around the globe. And so many parents are wondering what the fall semester is going to look like. This has been a big topic since the pandemic has really started. That's true. Today, the union president for Austin educators will ask teachers to stay home this fall. Yeah, he wants teachers to refuse in-person teaching and for schools to only offer online classes. Education Austin is pushing for this plan for the next, for, rather for the first two months of the new school year. And to recap, Austin ISD's superintendent says parents will choose between either 100% virtual learning or 100% in-person classes. Leander ISD is also doing that. The district spokesperson says they know last semester's virtual learning didn't meet parents' needs, but they're now better equipped. They're still figuring out how the two options will work for teachers. We, of course, will continue to monitor that for you. It's hot. Will. <laughs> it, <laughs> it very so much is. So I'm inside all the time. Who wants to go outside? <laughs> Yeah, so I'm kind of glad not to be outside right now. You know, they were saying that we could potentially uh, be seeing triple-digit heat for the next two weeks. Meteorologist David Yeomans was saying that. So there is something you can do. You know, there are a lot of Central Texas families. They don't. They have to make a tough choice between, of course, paying their bills um, and, or keeping their AC running. And when you have summer temperatures like this, that's a tough thing to have to decide to do. But there's a way you can help your neighbors. Yeah, for some families, we want to be able to offer some help. So this Friday, KXAN and Family Elder Care will host this year's Summer Fan Drive. Now, because of the pandemic, this year will be a drop-off parade at several locations with no-touch donations from, from your trunk. And we have the times and locations over on our website, kxan.com slash Simple help. Pretty easy to find out there. Yeah, and it's always a big event, something we're always excited to do here at the station. So, hey, we appreciate you joining us here on Cake Sand Live News Notes. I'm Amanda Dugan. And I'm Wilty Pree. We'll see you back here tomorrow.